Hello and welcome everyone to this week's episode of Dragon Fable. <clears throat> Last week we took on a lot of uh, saga with the Valera saga. This week we took on we will take on the rest of the of the Malorus saga, but before that, we will go ahead and look at the new customization that just dropped. Uh, battle log. No, let's just turn it off. So, become a paladin, wear the paladin armor. And for this week, we will be a paladin. Specifically, hometown. We will be the new Arctic Paladin. Then we will go ahead and do the reimagined quest. And at the end of the stream, I will show off what the new customizations look like, or rather, what the updated customizations look like. Armor customization. So yes, we can now look like Artix. I like this one more, but for this week, I guess we can keep it as a simple and quiet outfit. Now then. To Solonesca. And let's see what the reimagined quest is like. Because it was after the trip to Falcon Reach. I think it was in past quests. A hero of the people was what we did last time, so now we will do trust. You <coughs> You're right on time, Jaina. I was about to call a meeting to discuss what you accomplished in Falcon Reach. Ooh, I forgot to equip. And that's my report. Thank you for making the journey to Falcon Reach, Jaina and Fluffy. I'm glad to hear Ash was able to negotiate so successfully on our behalf. Where to begin? Ah. I've sent, I'll send Taivas and a few scouts to establish the road to Falcon Reach. With luck, we'll be able to begin transferring refugees within a few days. And that's also equipped this. Bashiku, could, would you mind organizing the emigration? I would be glad to take this responsibility. I shall begin at once. As for the other information you've provided, Jaina, regarding the Rose, it is both comforting and troubling to hear that the extent of the Rose's misdeeds are not widely known comforting in that we may still hold the faith in those who are unaware and that they may be swayed where were the truth to come to light, but also troubling in that our struggles go largely unnoticed. Yet, even without the explicit knowledge of the Rose's actions, there are those in Sordaven willing to pledge their support. How very generous! Kara. I would be cautious of such choices. Uh, yes, you're quite right, of course. I will see what information we can learn about these benefactors before freely accepting their aid. Huh. As for parley with the rose, hmm, what's on your mind, Kara? For reconciliation, there must be some measure of trust, but. I'm worried about making the wrong decision. 
Princess Victoria said she was going to try to talk to her father, but there's no guarantee that it will happen. You have time to think it over. You're right, Trina. Thank you. Although I noticed Melissa wasn't around, or Nikki for that matter. Yes, I almost forgot I wanted to speak to you about that. Melissa was feeling restless and wanted to find something to find. And Fluffy has fallen asleep. With the constant rose patrols in the swamp, I figured it wouldn't hurt to have her do some rounds. Nikki accompanied her to keep an eye out and make sure she stays safe and doesn't get too carried away. But they should have returned by now. I know you've just returned from a trip, Jaina, but could you do me a favor and go with Miritha to search for them? They went pretty far south, so I worry they may have inadvertently gone into Rose territory. You know the place, Miritha, within sight of the Rose Tower. Indeed I do. I'll be waiting for you and Fluffy below. And so I send our best out into the world. Please, stay safe and return soon. Don't worry, Kara. We'll keep everyone safe. You can count on us! Agnya. I'm sorry, Agnya, but you must stay behind. We can't risk Rose Sentry seeing you so in the sky is so far above outside the uh, swamp. I understand, Greta, but I do not like it. We've run missions separately before. This isn't the first and it won't be the last. I'll be back before you know it. Your compatriots have arrived. So they have. Is everything okay? Yes, I was just saying goodbye to Agnes. It's never been easy being apart from the one you're bonded to, as I'm sure Fluffy can attest to. I was so hungry without your snacks. And I missed it too, of course. Maybe it's different for different bonds. <laughs> I'm sure it will develop over time. Anyway, I'm ready to go now. Let's go find out what Melissa and Nikki are up to. No sign of the rose. That's a good thing, I think. And so we started the quest in this battle log. Now, let's see. Just how well this goes. Rah. We recover minus 5 HP damage. Yes, that is indeed how it goes. <sighs> and so we have won this battle. Let's hide this now. Um, a barrier to avoid it all. Yeah, it looks weird to have this showing while using the Arctic. So let's show this one instead. This fits a bit better. Let's attack all foes now. Ah, and we gained assistance. A powerful strike next. Should have focused that one somewhere else. And then I guess 
lower enemy life resist, might as well. And of course, elementalize towards light. That would help. Not summon the phoenix. No, yes, summon the phoenix. That feels light damage. It is the other one that deals good damage. It's Karlutkem or Karlutchem that deals slight damage, uh, good damage. Uh, yeah. Restoring 105 HP is quite a feat, to be honest. And so, huh. you can see the order checkpoint from here. Let's stun. And then just focus it down. That's the upside of not having to do multi-battles for this one. We can just, you know, deal with them one at a time. And also gain a bit of healing, really. What room is this uh, Mickey thinking? Traveling this far south. That's what we would like to hear too. Now then, let's finish this off with a Holy Wrath attack. We are unfortunately not facing undead, so we're not dealing that much damage. Looks like we found the road again. It doesn't seem well traveled. Okay, let's focus this one down as quickly as possible. Almost 400 damage exactly. And Ritha, drink a potion. Yeah, drink a potion. Now we can summon the phoenix. But this is well outside Vin territory. I'll need to have some words with Melissa when we catch up to her. So, Melissa, the princess who was too much of a handful for the fairy court, decided to go out and do what she wanted instead of staying inside the safe territories. And this is as far as to who exactly? And so we managed to beat up another gorilla fan. Oh, what a view. Maybe maybe we can leave this one. 
Do you hear voices? That must be Melissa and Nikki. Let's hurry! The Keeper of the Road. And we have absolutely zero damage. I mean, it won't heal damage to us either, but... Well, we aren't going to be the quickest kill. Let me put it that way. Uh, yes, let's see. Holy Wrath, Phoenix. Now that the DOT has gone off. Yeah, one turn left. Uh, no, Crusading Strike. And so we managed to keep it stunned for four turns. Uh, let's blind it. That blind wasn't enough, apparently. Yeah, that's an unfortunate side effect of doing this. We face off against enemies while... Uh, we can't really deal much damage because they are not undead. And so our skills are weakened. Uh, uh, yeah, if we combine this one with the light. Uh, if we combine this with light of. And I don't have a skill that applies a DOT anymore. Uh. Not that one, not that one, this one. Yeah, let's do this one as the final hit. With the DOT active, so. Um, let's just concentrate to restore mana. Now, there's no need to be hasty. There's clearly been a misunderstanding. Melissa? Nikki? What's going on? Ah, companions of yours. Greetings. I do hope you won't draw your blaze on me as well. This spy tried to ambush Nikki while we were scouting the area. He stinks of sword Hayden. Stinks, I'll have you know. He approached us and demanded to know where we could find the resistance. See, I thought I asked rather politely. Melissa, let him speak. Thank you. My name is Leon, Sir Leon. I am a, a mage knight of... Sorry, was a mage knight of uh, Swordhaven. After the rose took over... King Altian and some of the more magical knights in his employ had some disagreements. I was searching for a way to approach the Oculus Tower, that is, that Rose Tower, that one over there, looming over the landscape, when I came across these most merciful ladies. With them being of obvious magical persuasion, I thought I could maybe ask for assistance. Obviously magical. Well, your wings kind of give you away. 
what do you think, Brita? I think let's all take a step back. Where are your weapons? Melissa, Nikki? Melissa. There's five of us here. I don't think this Sir Leon would be able to do much with all of us here. As you say. Now, Sir Leon, what business do you have with the Oculus Tower? Hold on. How do I know I can trust you? You're not in any position not to. Fair enough. The Rose is doing something with the tower. All I know is that they're trying to find a way to locate magical creatures and objects from a distance. That's not good. It isn't. Thankfully, for now, they're still only trying. But if they succeed, then... Then the resistance would be laid bare. As well as anyone else magical within range, yes. <coughs> you were going to stop the rose all on your own? I was just looking around for a way to approach without being spotted. I didn't mean to ambush you. You have my apologies. Hm. Well, Sir Leon, you found the resistance at least. But the tower is outside our current operational area. If you would like to come with us back to... No. No, I can't. I have to keep watch. Make sure she... Make sure the Rose doesn't finish what they've started. Should we help? I could do with some more action. I... With the potential negotiations with the Rose coming up, we can't afford to give them more ammunition to use against us in potential talks for peace. And we certainly can't take such risks just by the word of a wandering knight. Maybe I can look into it if I find the time. Okay, Fluffy is having great fun. It would be easier to pass my actions of, as those of uh, the hero rather than the resistance. It is your decision, Jaina. Here. If you want to help out, there's a small inn nestled to the south of here, known as the Shears. If you have a map, I can mark it for you. Find me there if you want to help. I'll consider it. That's it? That's it? We're just letting him go? Melissa! And what if he's lying? I don't like this. The entire resistance could be at risk. Even if he is lying. One lone scout on the far outskirts isn't going to make a difference. Besides, when Jaina pays a visit to the Shears, we'll know for sure if he's lying or not. And Sir Leon, if you are lying... Well, I have a dragon who I'm sure you'd love to meet. And Fluffy hasn't burned anyone's eyebrows off in quite a while either. We have ways of finding out if you're lying. Yeah! Understood. And thanks for your mercy. And Jaina was it? I will await your arrival at the Shears. And now the Shears is quite different to Anta Vesla. How is she doing that? Better today, I think. Johnny assures me that Brittany's health is improving, but all we can do is hope. Is there something you require, Victoria? I've, I've heard some rumors about the Rose and the Resistance. Have you now? And where did you hear these rumors? I thought I told you to stay inside the city at least. I know I can't control you, and... I don't ask when you go missing for weeks at a time, but I worry. It, it doesn't matter where I hear them from. And what I do and where I go is none of your concern. It is my business. With Tara out of the country and Brittany's health favoring, if anything were to happen to me, with the ever-present threat of magic, rule of Swordhaven, of Greenfgard, would fall upon you, 
And if you keep shirking your duties like this, well, I don't know if you would be ready for it. I never wanted. I just listen, Father. It doesn't matter how I heard, but I know what the wind within the wind to try talking to us, to the rose, for peace. Could, could you please talk to Jeremy? Try to make it happen. If war were to break out, so many innocents would be caught in between. I have heard that events in Trebung Swamp were escalating. It would not do to have battle spill out into the countryside. I will see what I can do, Victoria. Thank you, Father. Please, if somebody let Jenny know that I would like to speak with her as soon as possible. I will. And those forces here. The wind again. Lady Jania. They released the number of dragons that we had planned to secure. As well as some stray driver that were en route to the sword haven. Then they are getting more and more brazen with each attack. Remember that the losses they are talking about right now are the fact that dragons and rose attacked the draver who just wanted peace. And then they lost a lot of uh, soldiers. This is how Acanthus keeps her from knowing shit. Indeed, it seems that this Jaina is quite a formidable asset. This cannot be allowed to continue. What if they were attacked to attack Falconreach or Oakar? The Fint are clearly out of control. Rabbit, if you would allow us to burn the swamp. That... that is... That is not an option. It is well within your... No! Yes? It is I, my lady. I bring a request from King Algin. Enter, Amadeus. What would the king have of the rose this time? And so... We can find the Lost Adventurer's Ring. A ridiculous amount of luck. This might be interesting for some builds. Even outside the wind within its territory, there are those who appear to oppose the rose. Maybe you can visit the shares and see what this Sir Leon is up to. And we got the level 40 ring. So we could stop wearing this one and start wearing this one if we wanted to lose out on quite a bit of damage for a ridiculous amount of luck. But since we don't want to, we can just sell it. And then... I guess since we are not going to be facing a lot of undead, I might as well show off what the Death Knight CC changes are. Equip Death Knight armor. And then load and load. And then show this one. And then back. Now then, go to hometown, Falcon Reach, and from here we will find both the customization area where we can show off what Zeklan's new outfit exactly would look like. And we can find this is the spectral. Oh. This is the spectral outfit. 
This is what it looks like now. If we were to go with Relic, you can see that there has been some customization changes, namely the color, the red, is showing up a bit more. Um, let me open up the change log. Uh, design notes and yeah um, there the red here can now really change a lot but given that we are stuck with the original I guess I mean we could go ornate Yes, let's go ornate for a bit. And now we are Death Knight once more. And so we talk to Yuanta. And we go to the war of Dragon Bones. The Angel of Azavir awaits us. Let us see what we face. It possessed warrior bones. Uh, yeah, unfortunately we will have to s refrain from using our DK attacks. Doom figments. Yeah, I almost called it a Doom figmini because there are certain creatures that are called that. Specifically, a reward from the inn is called such. And so, we face our enemy. The possessed dragon bones. Oh no, it is dealing darkness damage. If only we had a resistance to it. Uh, if only we had this one. But that deals darkness damage and we can't use that. Unfortunate. But unavoidable as well. And so we defeated the Dragon Graveyard Wave. Now, then, let's see what another battle would be like. These enemies look so cool and I would love to see and have their weapons permanently. Unfortunately, I don't think that is quite likely to happen. So it was... Remove resistance, right harvest. Right. Ooh. No. Whatever shall I do? But stand on the edge of death. And see them face me. See them fear. And so we defeated more waves. Now, I am not going to wait for the 
uh, for to show off the rare uh, dragon waves. However, we are going to await the calm. Let's <clears throat> let's keep moving before more show up. How are you holding up, Yuanta? I'm fine. I've been through much worse in all my years, but it does pain me to see darkness used against the makers in such a way. This is the kind of darkness that I've had to deal with my whole career. It's been filled with doom and destruction, for the most part. So much wasted power and potential. And what would you use such power for, champion of the Avatars? Was she always right there? I didn't see her either. What should we do? I'm all for attacking her, but if you want to talk, well, it's worked before. Thank you for your trust, Yuanta. If she makes any wrong move, I'll blast her. We can hear you, you know. I apologize for uh, whispering, uh, Angel of Azavir. But we have come to retrieve the artifact that you stole. Please, call us Voina. And please, answer our question, Yuanta. You called this a waste, but what would you use this power for? Hold up, we're the ones asking. No. You interrupted our resting grounds and interrupted our meditation. We would like to know what drives you, then we answer you. It's okay, Jaina. Voina, you wish to know how I would use this immense power of darkness? I would wield it to protect those that could not protect themselves and to strike those who would dare oppose the decree of the Makers. Then we are more alike than you think, Yuanta. No. You stole from the Makers, and you used this darkness against their will. This darkness, this doom, is but a tool. We use it to protect those who cannot defend themselves. We defend this continent from the scourge, the betrayal of the dragons. And yet you claim moral superiority because the avatars tell you that you, your actions are correct. Jaina, may I strike at this Malarus yet? So full of righteous fury, we know that feeling well. You want to calm down, but you have sated our curiosity for now. We will answer your questions. Who are you, exactly? The Avatars called you the Angel of Azavir. We are warrior and spirit bound by ancient pact. We saved our people from the betrayal of the dragons and we defend them still. We are the angel. We know why you are here, servants of the Avatars. You are here to retrieve what is so precious to them. What did you steal exactly? You see? Do you see? I'm sorry, what? You serve these masters, yet they do not give you the information you need. They hide and obscure knowledge. They send you to your doom, expecting your faith and trust in return. And what about you? Do you not serve doom against the Avatars? We serve nothing but our own justice. If that aligns us against the Avatars, so be it. Where were they when our villages were destroyed by the dragons who soared to protect them? Where were they when our comrades fell in the mountains far from home to dragon breath and claws? No, 
they were not with us, but the whisper was. And the whisper understood our pain, our helplessness. And so we accepted it and saved our people. And now we are one. So because the Avatars didn't help you, you're opposed to them. That seems so petty. The Avatars are fools who cannot clean up their own messes. We will stop the threat of the dragons. So that's what you took them from, from them. Something that will help you defeat the dragons? Yes. We will save all lore from the inevitable betrayal. Including yours. Yeah. Um, did I miss something again? There was a whole lot of talking. So I took a nap. Hello, angry lady. I won't let you touch Fluffy. Fluffy would never betray me. It did not happen before, alrighty, with Katev. That wasn't a betrayal. Fluffy was forced. We make our own choices. Fluffy made theirs and allowed itself to be used against you. Who is to say it wouldn't make that decision again? We suppose it would be a waste of all of our time. For us to ask that you forfeit the dragon to us willingly. I would never! We like you, Yuanta. You are decisive. You regret nothing. Come, we await you still, deeper in the catacombs. The dragon will know the path. Don't worry, Jaina. We're not letting this one get away. We aren't. And so we know the face of the angel and the face of our enemy, Vaina, named most definitely in the Azaveran style of naming. She has something that reminds us of others. She has that same discoloration that Pandora has, but as wings instead of See, she has the same thing that Pandora's. I can't remember the name. Oh, let's see if it was on the Dragon Fable TV tropes, but I don't think so. Uh, let me see. This under other characters where we can find Pandora. Um, Pandora is found. Ah, she has a vitiligo similar ish to what Pandora had and what several characters in the Weaver Shaga have. So, let us face our enemies like this. And as we release and face these enemies, we find just how terrible they can be. And we find how terrible we can be too. As we do more and more damage every time. And so, I say, 
we have progressed far enough that we would know to be ready to face the angels too. You want to fight? Is our partner? Fluffy? Is our pet? And let's see if this is strong enough. It's here! It's here! So, you have arrived. <coughs> Despite appearances, we enjoyed our discussion from earlier. We don't suppose you would be willing to humor us and talk a while longer. As long as you won't leave Fluffy Bee, I don't think there's anything else that needs to be said. Agreed. Very well. In that case, let us bow. As warriors. Don't you dare! Think about fighting my human without me. Typical on the last dragon. We have a special fate in store for you, destroyer. Not while I stand. We made a promise to the dream fairy, but we can still break you. You'll have to go through me as well. So be it. And this is Voina, a whisper and a partner. We face the angel of Azavir at full power. Unfortunately, the darkness resistance is quite high. Uh... Yes. Let us face our enemy. Let us apply a DOT so that we always know that we do full damage. That is the power of the Angel of Azavir. Uh, let's read. Lesser resistances. You want the fate effect of by a stun, but we can. Reap. Our own rewards. Let's aspire weakness. This weapon is so cool. I really love this weapon and I want to see more of that design. Weapons that change depending on the need of the user. Uh, as we are taken in and face more and more damage. Let us return set damage to our enemy. Is there still a DOT on that? Yes, yes there is. Um, yes, let's use this, and then next turn, 
we will swap. We will apply the DOT and then swap over to dealing. We will not fall so easily. Now then, apply the DOT. And now, deal of time, shield, and we are now on the defensive. Rather than our enemy, unfortunately. Unfortunately, it also managed to reapply shredded. Which is annoying to say the least. And we have our doomed resistance to health. Three turns left on that. Still boost and bonus so that uh, there is less chance of it, of uh, getting through our shields, even though our shields aren't that great. And unfortunately, we got pinned. So, we cannot avoid at all now. Um, yes. That is the application of a bunch of spears. That is annoying. And our curse runs out in the moment that we face in that uh, the <coughs> DOT, uh, the heal loss also runs out. Vengeful Doom was 30 all. Luckily, we have things that can apply something that negates it. Heal, you want that? Minus one hundred avoidance. And we have infused them with the BOT. So we may deal more damage. More and more damage.
This will be your end. Yes, it seems it will. And I can't even stand at the edge of death because it is a DOT. I have no resistance to health though, which is really good actually. So I can go ahead and heal up for a couple of turns. Let's see. So we deal more and more damage and heal more and more. Unfortunately, Doomed has started affecting us. some mana and then next turn we shall go ahead and go full out offensive if we can I probably don't think we can yeah no we can't whatever reap let's see if we can't get close at least No, we can't, because we die. Heal. <coughs> Inspire weakness. Let's see if this way we can go ahead and deal some more damage. I like this fight. I like it a lot more when I actually have a really good character. Um, and then reap. Because this fight was challenging but a fun type of challenging when i tried it with my chaos weaver because i had to not die but at the same time i am also you know the strongest offensively for a little while and that was awesome let's see then Let's reap. And the DOT, that means that I can't use... Uh That I can't stand at the edge of death. That's annoying. Uh, 
this was the last turn with the DOT. So, let us go and find out exactly how much damage we can do in a turn. shift to healing presence yeah unfortunate that I miss out on that much boost and bonus for one last turn uh, you know what why would I have to miss out on that much boost and bonus for one last turn next turn I will go ahead and heal Let's hope there is an next turn then. There is! Nice. But only just. And I managed to go ahead and use that at exactly the right time. Now let's hope Voina focuses on... Uh, I had hoped to focus on that one, on me. Well. Hope she focuses on uh, you want her now. One turn left on Doomed. Let's harden our will so that we may survive. Okay, that was weird. Plus, but a plus. Now that this heal resist, no. Unholy wheel makes it so that I can't heal, so I shouldn't waste a health potion at that point. Now I can drink one and get the full benefit of it.
how much health. your doom let's inspire some weakness in our enemy This is annoying and I will probably have to switch to a different class because darkness resist. And it's not... Might as well see if this works. That will probably apply to DLT. That will apply to DLT. Run away. Unfortunate. But let's see if a cryptic will do better. Because I am halfway tempted to just... Become... A class that's a bit more well suited for doing this. All right, there is a handful of nothing that I should still sell. Let us sell it then. A handful of nothing sells for one gold. And then the timeline. We go to Dragon Rage. Let's see if this one class is fast enough to deal with Voin. The Angel of Abyss. Just the normal rotation. Because this boss fight actually punishes you if you take too long. And that is, she gets the uh, Await Your Doom and uh, Vengeful Doom. Oops. Ooh, one full hit, that's annoying. Let me go ahead and hide now.
see. Yes. And then I do the DOT again. And then I get the weakest one of the... Uh, after this, I get the weakest one of my sh constant up shields. Because yes, this one has a constant uptime on shields. And that's why Cryptic is so enormously broken. This class used to, this enemy, I mean, used to have three full heals instead of one. That was annoying back then. Okay, she will get a heal next turn. Um, throw, throw. And I am at the full 25 critical boost. Which is pretty dang amazing to be honest. That given that you want this to... Yeah, she might just be doing... Uh, the blind has one turn left. Yeah, this is going better already. <coughs> Let's hope that Meat Shield stays alive long enough. That's not kind of me to refer to if you want to ask Meat Shield. But since I'm forced to use a companion here instead of, you know, not using and facing a bit easier a boss, I will go ahead and use it. No full damage, yes. Though the spear is applied then. Uh... Charged, but it was full, uh, full full damage anyway because she got a crit she was not supposed to get a crit I love this music here as well like Avoidance is annoying though, but the minus 30 boost is the main problem. Two turns left. And we stole a potion. And so we have two more. Or one more remaining to steal. Two more than we would usually have. Um. 
am I willing to risk full damage to get this one out of the way as quickly as possible? No, no, I'm not. Even though this isn't the greatest, I will use it. Two turns left, it will mean this one. As you can see, the effects get more and more pronounced. Spear does more damage, this vengeful doom got reapplied and everything. It gets worse and worse, basically. This is three turns. Uh, So we can dodge at least part of this assault. Then we stole the last potion. And we still got affected by Shred. Luckily, we didn't get stunned out. Let's see, this is the last of that. Uh, yeah. Next turn, we will shield again. And then we will start healing, I hope. Yes, yes, we can. We can start healing a bit more. Uh, we have two turns left on this. So let's do this. <coughs> us hope that we will get enough done now to get through all of this uh, uh, oh. yeah mental torture just continue the rhythm and uh, try to kill it as quickly as possible because the Angel of Azavir is going down. And she's going down today. Uh, this. Ooh, yes, forgot. Refuses to fall to a direct attack. Luckily, I had duties. <sighs> Luckily, they didn't run out. But yeah, she's dead, death proof. Which means that she won't fall to direct attacks.
Hmm. We yield. We will not fight your judgment. To think that Dreamfarer was right. We have underestimated you. We'll be taking back what you stole now. You want to? What do you think we should do with her? I would very much like to put an affront an end to this affront to the makers. But I empathize with her. She sought justice for her people. I'm, I'm surprised you feel pity for her. I suppose some of your soft heartedness has influenced me, Jaina. How about this, Vaina? You seem to hold promises and deals in great regard. Such is a honor. I will spare you if you stop opposing the makers and stop opposing hun hunting dragons. You wish for us to give up our entire meaning, our being? Otherwise, I can put an end to your entire being right now. Amusing. <laughs> we knew we saw something in you that we liked. We accept. Take your prize back to your masters. Let them know that the Angel of Azevere will no longer be a threat. Farewell, champions of the Avatars. So, this is the end of our partnership. At last, the calm has come. For me. Well done, champions, Fluffy. This malarous threat has been extinguished. You have retrieved the artifact intact, and for that we are grateful. If I may ask, what is it? That is irrelevant. Is it? We want the Fluffy and I risked our lives delving into the crypt for living into a crypt living full of skeletons and skeletal dragons. And it's too much it's too much to ask for us to ask why. I must admit, I myself am curious. It feels like you're hiding something, Neftars. <laughs> We're supposed to be your champions. We deserve to know what it is. You must simply obey. The information we provide is all that is necessary for your missions. The question is to give in to the enemy. But don't you see? By hiding and being so mysterious, it encourages us to question you. <laughs> if you so easily question us, then perhaps we made a mistake. Makers, please. Jaina has done nothing but comply with your demands. She may have her own way of trying to resolve the issues, but there is no disloyalty here. We apologize, champions. When maintaining balance, it is difficult not to not overcompensate. Even after all this time, we struggle to account for the volatility of humankind. Our purpose is to keep lore in balance, but when lore is held by minds and peoples out of balance... Our lore changes with or without us. By our nature we resist change. Change is inherently imbalanced. The more we share, the more we interfere, the more we change, the more potential imbalance we introduce to the system. Sounds like a tough position to be in, but does that excuse the mistakes you've made in the, in the past? It is indeed a difficult task, but our mistakes are our own and we accept that. So, will you tell us what the artifact is? The artifact is the egg of the savior, Fluffy's counterpart. Now that you have retrieved it, 
we will hold it for safekeeping. Wait, wasn't Fluffy destroyed? It was, but like all the great dragons, they are reborn in time. The savior and the destroyer are no exception. <laughs> to be honest, the savior and the destroyer are the example, not the exception. You could have let the uh, flats know from the beginning. If any, if that, if anything, it would have motivated us more. We will take this into account into the future, Maker. We trust you, and so you must trust us. We have much to complement and contemplate. Thank you, champions. We will call upon you when next we you are required. And so, Fluffy, the counterpart of Fluffy, is raised. First off, we will sell something. To be exact, however much it weighs on me, we will sell the cuddly Draco Lich. Then buy a Voinas Pages. And here you can find Yarek's staff. The staff. This was the staff carried by Voina, the angel of Azvi. Near one end, etched in small letters, is the name Yarek. Furthermore, there is the doomed Polax cosmetic weapon and the doomed longsword cosmetic weapon. I like cosmetic weapons, but they're not always the best investment. And so we keep it and we sell it. Yarek's staff is now in the hand of the shop. And we will go to the library before we go and face the next Malorus. Down here to the right, I believe. This is the museum. Ah. Zen the harpy King Lightness and Evil Book title Mar of the Lore of Axel and a book title A Collection of Lorian Songs, Crimes and Other Things. Welcome Take Hello, Jaina. Welcome to the Falcon HR Archival Collection. I am Lore Master Teka. I have need of some assistance in locating rare tomes for our collection. Think you could help me out? Well, what do you have there, Jaina? I found some pages deep within some catacombs in Azavir. They seem fragile, so I thought I'd bring them to you for safekeeping. Well, how old is this paper? could try to transcribe some writings from it but it looks like a lot of damage this be is being damaged beyond recovery you would have to leave them here with me though don't worry i'll take great care of them thank you so much for the pages jane you'll be able to find the transcription on the shelf behind me and so a book out of the journal of Voina. The Angel of Azavir. A restoration and transcription of the recovered pages of the Journal of Vaina, the Angel of Azavir, transcribed by Lord Master Teka. Indeed. There were only a few pages recovered that were not damaged beyond recovery. It is likely that there were many more entries into this journal that simply no longer exist. As a result, the entries here are listed in order, although a significant amount of time may have passed between them. 
the first entry. Three dragons flew over today from the town today toward the coastal settlements. I thought they were majestic, but Yarek thinks it's a show of force. Or maybe Yarek, maybe the dragons wanted to go for a swim in the ocean. The grandfather says that back in his day, before the eruption, we wouldn't have stood for something like this, whatever that means, and that we should pray to the avatars. I graduated from warrior training today. Yarak became came by after his mage ceremony, but he seemed distant. He kept muttering that he was right, that the dragons were up to something. I asked around and apparently one of the speakers at the mage ceremony gave an impassioned speech to crying in the rule of the dragons. Yarak always liked grandfather's old stories, but now I worry. My mask is the rest of this entry could not be recovered. They flew past in the night and protected the coastal towns. Many ships were lost before the dragons were taken down. Yarek and I have been called to arms. Yarek is ready, and so am I. Yarek was captured in the last battle. I couldn't protect him. We slew the few oh, we could, and the settlements are safe for now, but it takes so many for us to stop so few of them. There's talk of returning to the old lands, across the sea, in search of something, anything that can, among the ruins that could turn the tide. We managed to free many prisoners today in a surprise assault on one of the dragon's caves. Yarek was among them. We barely recognized each other, least of my words. In battle, a dragon mangled with my uh, real bag. With magic, I can stand the walk, but I'd have to make it back to the settlements to get proper treatment. We're not going home. We've gotten word that a team of high-ranking mages has set out across the sea to scour the ruins for something that could stop the dragons. We're supposed to slow the dragons down until that happens. Eric smiled again today. I haven't told him the news yet. It's just us, the injured and weakened, left to buy time for our people. Heroes. We are told to hold this mountain pass until our bones give out. Yarek is taking this well. He's making jokes. What's left of my leg hurts. <coughs> Had the dream again. I'm victorious over the dragons. My body whole, my people safe, but there's little time to dwell on such fantasies. The dragons are coming, and my duty is called. But this seems to be the final entry of the journal that was found. Entry unknown. Written by two different hands. The first is not finest, while the second matches the rest of the journal entries. So, the winds of winter come warmed by dragon fire. I prefer the cold. The weather is nice. Yarek should just relax more. Five syllables here. Spring brings forth a calm, a truly a beautiful sight, and not just flowers. Shove it, Yarek. And so, this ends the collected writings of Vaina, Yarek. And we have seen the last of Advan. Voina and the Whispers stopped. Here are the retro warrior classes, retro base classes. This is an artifact that is hugely important to soul weavers. Here is the retro paladin and necromancer. And the new dimension, dimensional shop as well. This is a joke class that's really good if you have a really good on attack special. Because every single attack deals a lot of damage in many hits. But it's shit for literally everything else. And here, 
are the artifacts you can find. And here you can get the artifact, the Baltail's Helm artifact. Now then, for the last half of this stream, I will go ahead and start the introduction to watch. Remnants at rest, Mialas, and then reactivation. Let's begin. <coughs> Oh, hello. Welcome, Malorus. Thank you for your time, champions. Didn't have much of a choice. Shh! One of the Malarus has revealed itself and now poses an imminent threat to Lore. We couldn't have just been some fruitier snacks, could we? It is an honor to serve you, Maker. Or maybe a friendly game of Magnum Ball? Is that actually a sport? Imminent threat! Right, right, so what are we dealing with? This time, the active Malarus this time is Mialos, an ancient spirit. When we first sealed it away, we destroyed its physical form, save for a small mechanism. Served as the core of its being. Through whatever means, its core appears to have taken control of a massive, up until now, derelict uh, uh, weapon. A titanic weapon that should have achieved full functionality, control and functionality over control of threatens to crush all of lore. You've encountered some sort of being, something of a sort before, Jenny, in your search for the wind or so this Mielos is a magic illusion thing like Cardana, and it's activating a giant construct. Correct. Your experience in the matter should help us aid you in your task. We trust that you will stop Mielos and whatever it is planning. It will be done. Hmm. Are you ready to go? Yes, my makers. Uh, sure, thanks for asking. Well, at least they asked this time. The makers seem to believe you have dealt with something similar to me, Alas. What are you up against? Well, as was with Karana, something that looks to be a remnant of an ancient civilization. I didn't exactly understand the strange magic that kept Karana around. She was quite out of spoke a lot of nonsense, but she was friendly. Who knows? Maybe there's a good chance we will be able to speak to Mialos and reason with them as well. I see. Let's go then, Jaina. Bah. So yeah, this is MechQuest influencing it again. Now we're up against the uh, Verdant... Yes, Verdant Togs. That uh, seem to be quite crazed by what's going on here. They do a ridiculous amount of damage. They get a shield that's way too strong. And so we pierce. But yeah, this is MechQuest influencing it again. This time we face off against 
a dragon-ish mech similar to the one we used, uh, we faced at the end of mech quest. Nice with the crit. Here are some mechs. <clears throat> and here is a lone talk that we can leave be. Because the mechs are by far the most dangerous. Ooh, nice infused with light. That means that I can... Yeah, because of that. I can go ahead and steal though. A potion instead of activating the DOT. This, by the way, is what the separate look like, and this is the ancient mech class. And yes, there is an ancient mech class. annoying but it got just a single full heal up and we have more than enough healing in here the afterburn is really annoying though Christ. all right this fight this fight is a pain and a half because of these healers So, first off, let's kill this sapper. That will be that. That would be enough. And then that one will heal up. The problem is that this one can heal this one. If I remember what happened here correctly. And that is what I want to avoid. And so I focus on the ads first. It is actually quite similar as to what happens in the... Uh, what's it called? in the never-ending labyrinth because that is a pain and those the largest of that ends with a um ends with you fighting three blood elementals well a blood elemental which is just a reskinned water elemental with a skull for a face and then a What's it called? And then two water elementals. And all of which heal 50% damage. If they hit. So yeah, you're focused on dealing as much damage as quickly as possible. And now we heal a bit. And face off against this Awakened Annihilator. And so we face off against. I know that this mech was actually a mech quest. I don't know if it was any good though. Uh, but I guess we'll we'll just see. Okay, 
like strong awakened annihilator and i do believe that you have to go as far right as possible i know <clears throat> i know that there is at least one full heal somewhere in this quest And then with this one finalized. Then we've won. I believe that going up here will reward you with a full heal. And it's a fully awakened sapper. Luckily, no heals were had by the Sepper today. And now I have one. Whoops, I guess. I was wrong or something like that I don't remember where the full heal was anymore that's annoying that's really annoying me now Let me go ahead and look up train table. Uh, remnants at rest. This quest had one of the most awesome moments seen so far by uh, the Malarus. Yeah, let's not let pride get in the way of healing. Luckily, I can at least use these without worrying about my own stock running out. <clears throat> This is the alternate path that I went down on. Damn it. I might have to restart this quest actually. Because I might just not have enough mana left at the end of this to face up against the boss. That would be annoying. I 
Oh, come on. Yeah, I might not have enough money there. Yeah, no, I definitely won't have enough mana left. That is really annoying. Especially since I know that I can beat it with this class. Next turn, that one goes down to the DOT. This tog here is the boss, and I just lost because I can't get enough mana to get there, and the full heal wasn't where I thought it was. The full heal is up this path. Well then, let's leave this quest, grab a full heal. And now, let's skip through this thing again. Oh right, can't skip through this one. Because it's a moving scene. Which are already always like tested. So now that I'm rapidly clicking through it all, and that will be the last thing done for today. <coughs> Summon Dragon. Because that will just help and won't increase our enemy's HP. This music is getting a bit annoying though, just a bit, tiny bit. That is annoying. That is really, really annoying. I dislike that 
shield they can get out. See? Rather annoying. Hopefully this doesn't start it up again. It started it up again. Uh, we got through with the crit. Because this class delights in crits. And now you die. Hopefully. Yes! Let us face this one. Afterburn is annoying. Real annoying. Oh, it doesn't heal them. I misremembered that. Then. Even though it removed my shield. Okay, despite the fact that it removed my shield, that was a bad idea. <clears throat> okay, and then now heal and then. Oh, right. Armor chair. Okay, apparently today is the day of annoying enemies. I remember that there was a reason why I hate this quest. Well, at least we've won now. That took far more damage though than should have been necessary. Probably change to light then. that they don't resist a quarter of my damage. This should be going better. Far better. Then an attack and then a heal and then a 
heal and then double hit because he will go armor tear and I will go haha uh -huh. it doesn't matter because he won't get another attack off let's avoid these this time <coughs> Especially grateful for this because I used the different now to avoid it. I used the other one, which is why you should always be able to do that at least, or otherwise outright tank damage such as a what what a death knight facing off against darkness damage. And with a throw, we finish off that one. I still think that this combination should take out both there. Right, I remember why I did this one first though, again. Because if you get the armor tear, then suddenly your shields don't work anymore. One backstab. One shield and suddenly I'm dealing full damage again now then heal up the mana like doing this fight twice just seems unnecessarily complicated also unnecessarily long but you know what do I know I win that's the only thing I know Afterburn is annoying. Not insurmountable though. Then shield, then heal, and then deal damage. And now with this final attack, I will have won. Now we just need to face off against Peleus, Eater of Mushrooms. Deal fire damage and then show these again. At least Peleus only has the normal shielding, not the annoying, uh, not the annoying as uh, other mechanics that some bosses have. Now, if only it would stop using it. Whenever I'm uh, needing to attack. 
Let's see. That one does mean does affect it. Now then, I have a 75 bonus. I just need to get through a 200 shield. Great. Finally. Should have stunned it. Oh hey, I can stun it. And I got a DOT on it. Nice. Can you imagine that this fight was one of the most difficult fights in a while? Because if you can't, this fight was one of the most difficult fights in a while. That wasn't the main fight. To be exact. Because this was one of the few that actually used 300 shielding for, you know, outside of the end. Which is ridiculous because the amount of shielding in the inn is made a uh, challenge and game players with optimal uh, equipment. Not people just doing the story. So yeah, the fact that it sometimes got a debuff I wouldn't mind get this this getting a debuff ah now here we are <coughs> one of the most awesome scenes all right now we just need to find a way in Cardanus construct had a handy damage portion that I could call crawl in through but this seems to have weathered a lot better hmm Maybe I could try making a hole? Please wait, you want a fight? You are looking for me, Alas. We can assist. Who goes there? <coughs> <coughs> now, what are you two doing here? We are lock. We are key. Yeah, I remember. You know them? They're a... Uh, Acquaintances, associates. We have history. Are they going to be a problem? Are you going to be a problem, Lucky? We are no problem. We heard you are here to stop me, Alos, according to plan. I don't like these two, Jaina. What is this? Milos poses no threat to you or the Avatar. The after seem to think otherwise. You say Mulas isn't a threat, but it's clearly awakening this construct for some purpose. The purpose is to draw the attention of the Avatars to bring you here. The champions of the Avatars. This is the most talkative ambush I've ever been a part of. You misunderstand. We require your aid. Nope, nope, not happening. Let's go, you want to quest the hole? Through that metal, let's go. Wait. This is not the same as the previous time. Mialos wishes to be free. We are assisting in that process. We brought Mialos here so that it may draw the attention of the Avatars. And now that we have you, you can help Mialos. We can open the way. Those two seem to know Mialos quite well. We are designated Malorus by the Avatars, just as it is. But we are not a threat. Oh, no. Wait, you knew this, Chain? I don't remember you telling the makers about this strange pair of whatever these are. Well, I tried before, but then the Malatars did their teleporting thing, and then the whole si Mila situation happened. It just seemed like a bad time to interject since it was pretty urgent. You are a champion, and you've been consorting with these Malorists just as the makers wanted to go against. Give me a moment, I can explain. Hold. Another comes.
<coughs> of course. Of course it would be you two who would interfere. Dream Pharah. We are in the middle of something. I remember that our dear friend is getting its body back together. I thought I'd pay you the visit and greet my new friend. And who should I find but to you? Not only interfering with our goals, but twisting Jaina to your own desire. I've worked so hard to cultivate this one, to sow the seeds, to plant the dreams. I will warn you once. Do not test me, dreamless ones. Do your thing. Give the champions a pleasant gap in their memories. I can take it from here. We are not subordinate to you. We are free, as are you. We choose to help the allies. We choose to protect the investment. We will not be threatened. I apologize for my rudeness. I only wish to spend some quality time with Jaina. I'm afraid I may come have come across as aggressive. But Jane, you find yourself in quite the predicament. I can help free you from it. No thanks, I'm plenty free enough as it is. But you are not. Are you not beholden to the avatars? You follow their every whim, you pursue their every order. And beyond that high you not bound by our morals. I can show you true freedom. To do what you will, to go where the currents of existence take you. Am I not free to choose? Do you think I'm helping the avatars because I'm forced to? If this is my path in life, am I not free to pursue it? The avatars may be overbearing and weirdly inconsistent at times, but at least they're trying to do what they think is best for lore. A pitiful existence. They could do so much more if only they weren't bound. If only you were enchained. Jaina is most certainly not following the exact orders of the makers. But we will not give in to you. We will not be shaken by your words. <coughs> Alaris, be gone, or I will make it so. Hmm. You're not interested. Why are you interested in Mialas anyway? The dreamless pair hasn't told you everything, as usual. Mialas is not some entity to be pitied. It is a tool. One that can be used to release many, so many from their shackles. Mialas has no interest in your schemes. Leave us, Dreamfarer. For someone so obsessed with freedom, you seem awfully eager to use another for your bones. I told you, it is not another. It is not a life, it does not dream. It is a tool to be used just as this lock and key are. Let me in, Jaina. Let me show you the world of possibilities. Lock, key. If you want uh, and I go find me Alice. How long could you hold off Remthalas? We will withstand as long as it takes. We cannot be tempted. We are secure. Go, champions of the Avatars. Mialas awaits. Traitors! Broken tools! I will return with the reinforcements. You shall see how long your tricks last then. We are unafraid. We are free. And isn't that a nice fuck you to uh, Ramthalas to end this stream on. So, I will see you all next week. Where we take on Ramthalas free army. Goodbye.